was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Amen. Bishop Gibble L. Patterson. Amen. What a song. I tell you, the Lord woke me up singing that praise. Praise God. Saints of God. In the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this recession, you ought to praise God. Why, why, why should I praise God? Because there's great results. Amen. Comes with praising God. Amen. You can quit doing anything and everything else. But for God's sake, don't forget to give God praise. You know the cliche that says when the praise of God goes up, hallelujah, then the blessing will come down. Praise God. Hey. My Lord, my Lord. Praise him. <laughs> Right by now, we ought to take a praise break. Good God Almighty. Amen. Say, I fast, you can pick them up and put them down. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody that praise is what I do. <laughs> Woo! Glory, 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 glory. Hey, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Hey! I'm going to get up out of this seat. Woo! I'll tell you what. You got praise it. Huh, you got to read the praise did he wake you up this morning? When you're cold in the right mind? I said, there you go, there you go. 
I didn't say nothing about you didn't have no steak in your refrigerator. Be satisfied for the baloney. Y'all ain't talking to me. Amen, amen. You got to give God praise because he woke you up. Amen, he was it. You left off on last week and then talking about he was it. Good God Almighty. Yes, he is. He was it. Amen. Somebody said, what do you know about Jesus? Hey, he's all right. Only because you know he's all right. You're praising. Praise God. Truly, we thank God being back here again. Amen. On this fourth Sunday morning, January 2022. Yes, by now you realize I'm not in the sanctuary, but I'm here at Studio B. Hello, him, somebody. Amen. I played that been anointed by God. Hello, him. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, I'm sitting down. You ain't crazy. You got a whole lot of sense. I'm sitting down because the Lord laid on my heart, amen, to just sit down and try to see if I can get back in the river. Amen? Amen. We are thanking God. Oh, I can get up and shout if you want me to now. Hello, him. Amen. We're going to try to sit here and just teach from the word of God. But I want to tell you why I'm sitting here, that I'm still saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, yet praising God for holding it. And everything that it stands for, listen to me, holiness is a way of life. It's not something that you talk about, but a life that got to be lived. By who? By everyone that intends to walk those streets of gold. Now, if you don't intend to walk on those streets of gold, then just don't live holy. Amen. Your wish shall be granted. Huh? But if you want to bust a move on those streets of gold, you better live holy. Huh? Thank God for everyone that tuned in on this morning, especially my lovely wife, Co-Pastor Bell. Thank God for her. Amen. What God done for her and I together in this ministry. I got on a shirt, amen, this morning that says she's a catch. This God of mine, a good catch at that. Hello, him. I tell you, when I pursued her, I was so glad I got in hand with you I can grab her. Huh? <laughs> Y'all ain't saying I caught my I caught my prize. And I refused to turn her loose. Amen. And on her shirt it says, Amen. He's a keeper. <laughs> in other words, she ain't throwing me back in. She's gonna keep me, y'all. She done, she, done, she done put up with me for 43 years. She might have gone, we might have gone on together now. Hello here. But I thank God, Amen, my God has graced us and favored us. Amen. These past, Amen, 43 years. Working on 40 more. Hello, him. Good God Almighty. I mean, I'd be 104. Amen. Amen. Ain't where I was she be. She still be younger than me. Hello, him. Amen. Amen. Wouldn't that be nice? Amen. 40 years from now. Hello, him. Amen. We be testifying. Been together. Amen. 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 Hey. Hey. Three years. <laughs> Guess God Almighty. So I'm making that long now. Amen. But I know what I'm going to enjoy every year, every day, every hour that God is going to allow me to be with my wife. Amen. But I thank God for her. Thank God for you tuning in. Listen to me. Amen. They don't give me long today. You know, Deacon Spencer got loose there on that school of Wilson lesson. Amen. 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 God is good. Hello, him. He just told me the truth. Good God Almighty. I hate to follow up behind that, but I got to do what I got to do. That was his job. Now I got to do my job. Hello, him. Amen, amen. Because you guess what? <laughs> Jesus had to pray for his disciples. Huh? Now the question is, did he pray for you? Huh? Well, if you don't come out the world, he prayed for you. But if you're still stuck in the world, guess what? Deacon Spencer said he ain't pray for you. Y'all ain't talking to me. But I'm going to leave that alone. Amen. You take it up with Deacon Spencer. But God is a good God, and we're excited about him today. We just love the Lord. Amen, amen. I got to take care of the task that's been put before me. Amen, a task that I love. One that, amen, I enjoy doing. Know what that is, Bishop? Amen, that's preaching and teaching the word of God. Amen, amen, amen. Today, amen, God gave me a word. Amen, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there. 
But I feel like what God yeah, have given me, we've been working on all week long. That's something I hardly ever do. Amen. We've been working on it all week long. We had got, got, got it together. Everything but a title. Amen. What we're going to subject, what we're going to be talking about. And when I tell you for a day this morning, God gave it to me. Then he confirmed it in an email. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. I, I could have just ran on, just ran on. I do one of them. Hello, him. Amen. I look at God. God has been visiting me here lately. The thing God has been showing me and doing, I, it's just blowing my mind. Amen. We're going into a new season of our life. Amen. God is, amen, the, amen, the fivefold ministry is coming forth. Amen. Amen. Interpretation of vision is coming forth. Amen. God is going to use us mightily. Amen. More in what's to come than what he has. And with the past. Hello, him. Amen. We're looking forward to being used by God. Amen. Amen. God told me now. Y'all remember me saying these words? If I didn't pollute his house, he was going to bless me. Hello, him. And I'm not just talking about the natural house, but I'm talking about this house, this temple right here. God told me if I didn't pollute it, his favor was going to be upon me. Amen. Can I say something to you? I live holy. Amen, amen, amen. I used to testify like this in years back. Amen. I might start back to doing it. I hadn't did nothing. Hadn't went nowhere. That would make my Lord ashamed. Huh? I ain't making no food. Hello, him. I've been living according to the word. Amen, amen. But we get excited on today. Amen. I get a chance to preach three Sundays in a row. Amen. Thank God for my oldest son. He gave me another opportunity to preach the word of God. Amen, amen, amen. But this is supposed to be his place. Amen. But he gave it back to me. Glory to God. Oh, guess what? He's still giving him a little R and R. You know what I mean? Amen. I'm enjoying myself, though. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen. I tell you, God is good. Amen, amen. Because what's to come? We ain't going to be able to turn the plow loose no how. Amen. But I appreciate my oldest son, amen, preaching in my stead, preaching the word to God's people. And I thank God for it, but the gospel must go on. Amen? He should be up here on next Sunday. That, we'll be in the sanctuary next Sunday. Hey, y'all pray with me now. That he know he stay out one more week. You know what I mean? Give him another shot behind that pulpit. <laughs> God, don't tell him I say that. Amen? But we just excited about it. But God laid on my heart, my mind, amen, he says, refresh. Refocus. You got this. God. Refresh. Refocus. You got this. This title here ties in with where we are today. We've been battling COVID-19, then the midst of the pandemic, now going on to our third year. Two years has passed us. Somebody said, well, bitch, we, they, they shut down in March. But COVID was circulating in December. Hello, him. Amen, amen, um, 19. Huh? They publicized it. Amen. In February of 20. March of 2020, they shut everything down. Amen? But it was already him. It was destroyed by the time they got around to shutting it down. Amen? But I want you to understand today, I want you to understand today, glory to God, where we are dealing with this pandemic. God said it's time for you to refresh, refocus, because you got this. The word, the word refresh, amen, according to the Oxford American Dictionary, means to stimulate the memory, stimulate, to stimulate the memory. Glory to God. Amen. Something got to stimulate what already happened to you. Huh? Amen. 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 Somebody says, like the seal said, when I just think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he done for me, huh? My very soul cries out, hallelujah. Can I say something to you? Quit looking down the road. But give God praise what he already done for you. Somebody had been praising God lately. 
Amen. Somebody hadn't even took our time and, and clap your hand. Hello, him. Amen. You've been looking down the road wondering when this thing going to be over with. Glory to God. Can I say something to you? You might well go ahead on and enjoy the moment. Amen. Enjoy Jesus in the moment. Glory to God. Because the Bible said when it's over with, hello, him. Amen. It's going to be as a, as a dream. We're waking up from a dream. We just that quick. Amen. But to refresh, number two says, to make fresh again. Amen. Amen. To reinvigorate. Chill. Huh? I want y'all to get excited. Hey. Amen. Because the Bible says, for the joy of the Lord, it is your strength. Huh? I'm not finna preach nothing new to you. But I'm going to sit here and talk to you if you let me. Huh? God said refresh, stimulate your memory. Amen. To make refresh again, reinvigorate or chill a person's mind or spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody said, what reinvigorate mean? To give virtue. Amen. Virtue. Amen. To fill with life, energy, energized. Amen, Virgo. Amen. To strengthen or force. Force yourself to be happy. Huh? Saints got all I'm saying in this time now. Don't need you holding your head down low. Because the Bible said, grieve not the Holy Spirit. He said, put it down until the day of redemption. I'm not going to try to make you get saved this morning because you're already saved. Huh? Amen. Well, that's your testimony. Glory to God. I, I'm not, I ain't got time to judge you. Glory to God. You told me you were saved. Huh? Amen. Some of you said you've been filled with the Holy Ghost. All I'm saying, glory to God, I want to strengthen your faith. Huh? I want to go forward and only strengthen your faith, glory to God. Amen. But I want to force you into giving God praise. It's in the praise this morning. This afternoon, I keep on saying this morning. Amen. I forgot after 12 a.m. After 12, it's 12 p.m. now. Glory to God. Amen. It's afternoon. Hello, him. Amen. Amen. Hour of power. We're going to bring this thing in an hour or two. Glory to God. Amen. And God let me, when he said refresh, refocus, huh? That means adjust your lens. Whether on a camera, or oh, on your eyelid, your eyeball. Adjust them, readjust them. Glory to God. Refocus. See, you're looking at me, looking at the wrong thing, but it's time to do like David said, for I will lift my eyes to the hill from whence coming my help, knowing that my help, all of my help, come from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. You got to refocus. Amen. Quit giving credit. To what Satan is doing. Amen. I talked on the other night. I believe in chewing chat. Where we told you to walk away from sin. And give Satan back all his tools. And just turn and walk off. Let them focus on what COVID is doing. Huh? Amen. Because COVID just going to be around for a season. But let's focus on the one that created you and I. Huh? Let's focus on that. Amen. Let, let me pull my mic down a little bit because I believe we got a little static there. Let me pull it down a little bit. Y'all ain't talking to me. Oh, yeah. We're going to get it right here in a minute. Amen. God is good. How about that? That's it? I still got a little, little, little something in it. God is a really good God. I'm going to pull it down a little bit more. Oh, yeah. We're going to get it here in a minute. That's going to quiet down somewhere. How about that? Amen, amen. That's that old Santa Claus in the but uh, hit the bread. Uh, good. It ain't good for somebody ain't good for that. Well, they're gonna be there until after, after we proclaim the victory. Then God tell me let it grow until they get the ground, let it keep on growing. Huh? Because his mouth ain't none of yours. <laughs> God is good. Amen. But let me tell you something. Amen. Refresh. Refocus. Good God Almighty. You got this. God has equipped you and I 
with everything it's going to take to make it through. They sang a praise that there's a blessing on the other side of through. Huh? God says, don't look for nothing new. Amen. I want you to think about what God already did for you. Glory to God. And he's going to do it again. Huh? Today, God led me to the book of 1 Kings, the 17th chapter. Amen. All of it was good. Amen. But I picked up from the ninth down to the 16th verse. But if I would look at the 17th chapter, if you can go with me, the easy, amen, amen, English version of the Bible, amen, you would turn with me, you would see glory to God, start at the first verse, you would see glory to God, amen, where else, amen, Elijah appeared before Ahab. And he let Ahab knew glory to God, amen, that he was a servant of the Almighty God, huh? He told Ahab, glory to God, because of sin, because of what has taken place, he said, it's not going to rain, amen, not one more night for years. No water will hit the ground. Until I say so. Now that's, that's speaking the word. Glory to God. But the man of God told, amen, his superior, natural soul. Glory to God. Because of your ungodly acts. Because, amen, amen, you're not standing up for God like you should. Amen. I'm telling you today, you can put it on record, he says. It's not going to rain. Huh? Until I say so. And the Bible says when Amen Elijah, when Elijah has spoke these words, glory to God. It says, glory to God, that immediately God spoke to him. God told him to, to, to get himself together and head to the Amen, the brook of Cherubim. Glory to God. And said, Down. We're going to honor the word, Elijah. But there, I'm going to cause you to drink water. Because the brook of Sherpin, glory to God, amen, down east of the Jordan River. Y'all ain't saying that thing. Glory to God. Amen. So by being east, that means the water that will flow into Jordan. Hello, help somebody. Glory to God. It had to come through the Sherpin, amen, brook first. And God... Amen. Privately, amen, told Elijah what to do. So let me tell you something. As men and women of God, once you speak a word, God got the honor. And when Elijah said it wasn't going to rain no more, it wasn't only going to affect Ahab and those that was with him, glory to God, but it was going to affect Elijah too. Huh? Amen. Because God, like the school of women said, amen, he wasn't praying that God would take us out of the world, but he would keep us while we was in there. And Elijah, when he spoke this word, amen, he had to deal with it also. So the word of God says, glory to God, that God told him where to go to be sufficed. The Bible said, when you get down to the book of Sherman, glory to God, I'm going to cause a raven. Huh? To come and feed you every morning and to return at night with food to eat. The Bible says that Elijah did not argue with God, but he immediately left. Huh? Y'all ain't saying that thing. Amen. And went like God told him. He camped out around the brook of Sherbin. Glory to God. And while camping, camping out, Every morning when he got himself together, hello here, <laughs> the raven appeared with a full meal. Huh? The Bible said when it came dinner time, the raven would come back at dinner time with a full meal. This goes on for days and months. Amen. The raven kept his promise. 
Elijah lived. Huh? Can I say something to you? God always made a way of escape. Huh? Amen. If he brought us to it, he's going to grace us to go through it. Huh? But we must remember, like the song says on today, to praise God. I'm trying to get there. But the text goes on to say, glory to God. Amen, amen. After being fed many days and many nights, the brook began to dry up. Huh? Stay with me now. Now the raven, didn't say the raven got tired, but just said the brook began to dry up. Glory to God. And then we find ourselves in the 13th verse. Glory to God. Again, glory to God. Amen. Well, God, amen. Let me back up a little bit. Glory to God. Amen. God, let me back up. Back up, back up. I got too far. God told him when the brook began to dry up, told him to go down to the Zara Pass. Glory to God. And when you get down there, huh, I will cause a widow woman, huh, a lonely woman, huh, someone that's going to be in need just like you is, but I'm going to cause her to supply you with food. I'm going to cause her to take care of you. Huh? Y'all ain't talking. I'm going to cause her to be a blessing to you. See, a lot of times we sit back and we talk about what we don't have. Huh? I would if I had more. Huh? Amen. I want to do more, but I just don't have enough. But we want to show you on today that God is able to bless the little that you have. If you refresh, refocus, and realize that you got this. The Bible says that when he got into the gates, amen, of Zalpas, glory to God, he saw a willow woman out there picking up sticks. Huh? And say, so he entered the gates, glory to God, looked at the willow woman picking up sticks. Amen. He began to talk to her. Glory to God. When he began to talk to her, glory to God, he told her to bring him some water to drink. And when I read that, I began to think about where did she get water from? They was in a drought. But she had some water, huh? And the Bible says when she began to go to get the water, he began to tell her, glory to God, and make me some bread to eat because I'm hungry. The widow woman turned and looked at Elijah and said to him, said, I was just out here picking up these two little sticks. Huh? Now before he said anything to her about sharing with him, she would get enough sticks. She would get ready to cook enough food for a banquet. But because the man of God made a request, now she only gathering two, two small sticks, two mass stems. She's just going to cook a little piece of bread and for her and her son, and they're going to eat and die. The man of God says to her, glory to God. Amen, amen, on the 13th verse. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go home and do what you have said. Listen, do not be afraid. When God put a special anointing upon the man of God or woman of God, don't let fear set in. Huh? Elijah went there to be blessed, but stay with me. However, he became a blessing. Huh? Amen. She says unto him, glory to God, that, amen, I don't have enough for you. I only have enough for me and my son. Glory to God. Elijah is now saying to her, trust God. Trust that I'm a man of God. Glory to God. Amen. So he said, be not, do not be afraid. Go home. Go home. And do what you have said. And do what you have said. Watch this now. 
But first, but first, make a small cake of bread. Make for a me. small cake of bread for me. For me, huh? Use what you have. Don't don't worry about what's in there. Use what you have. Got to make. But do it for me first, huh? Use what you have to make it. Then bring it to me. Then bring it to me. Watch me now. And after that. And after that. Make something for yourself. Uh huh. And for your son. After you have delivered on my request. Huh? Then go back in the kitchen. Hallelujah. God and make some. Prepare a meal for you and your son. Right there, right there, right there, right there, I want to talk with you. It's not often that God sent a request through the man of God. Glory to God. It's not often that God, through the man of God, asks you to make a request, to, to make a sacrifice. But just like here, this woman is hearing something to take what she thought was a last and make a small cake on my word for me. And then go back and make for you and your son. Huh? This is a word. Glory to God. And as I was reading this here, I was thinking about our mortgage celebration. Huh? I've been thinking about that together we can burn this mortgage. Huh? I know you don't sit back and you don't count up your little ducks. You know exactly how many ducks you got in a row. And now you don't became afraid to move another duck to the Lord's work. But God is telling me to tell you, don't be afraid. Huh? Let's satisfy the mortgage. And God promised there's going to be enough left over to suffice your every need. Huh? Somebody said, but I got it now. But I want to say something to you. What you got in your hand now is not going to be enough for what's about to come. But God said you release some of what you got now. You're going to have more than enough there for you when your time come and need. God is a multiplier. Amen. He deal in addition. Amen. Let me go back to the scripture and tell you what the man of God says. And after that, make something for yourself and for your son. Uh-huh. This is what the Lord the God of Israel say. What he said. You will not use all the flour in your jar. You will not use all the flour that's in your jar. Why? Because you are now refresh, refocus. You got this. You just do what I've commanded of you. Huh? Amen. You ain't going to run out. Of your savings. You're not going to run out. And be penniless. Amen. Because the Lord says. I want to be glorified. Says the Lord. The Lord says. I want to show a world. A dying world. That what I'm still able to do. Huh? God said what you all are doing. In the market burning celebration. So you're doing it. To make me get the glory. And you allow me to get the glory. I'm not going to let your meal bell run out. I'm not going to let your saving account go in vain. I'm, I'm not going to let your checking account be insignificant fun. Amen. But God said I'm going to have an adequate amount down. When the real challenge comes. Huh? God can flip the stock market. Just like he let the stock market fall, 
He can cause it to rise. God can let your money double overnight. Huh? But the Bible says that this woman down here, Zapha, said she had told the man of God, I only have enough bread, enough meal, or enough flour for one more whole can of bread. I'm finna whoop it together. And I don't know what me and my son are gonna do. The man of God said, Go, don't be afraid, but go and do exactly what I said. What I said. What you said. What you, huh? have, what said. you have said. But first, make a small cake of bread. Make a small for cake of bread for me. Use what you have got to make it. Use what you got to make it. Then bring it to me. Then bring it to him. And after that. And after that. Make something for yourself. Make something for yourself and. For your son. For your son. Huh? This is what the Lord God of Israel said. God told me to tell you. You will not use all the flour. You will not use all the flour. In your jar. In your jar. Huh? You will not use all the oil. You will not use all the oil. Now, hallelujah. Huh? Somebody said, we live in a time where I don't want to get broke. I don't want to be broke. God said, don't worry. You won't be broke. This is investment time. Huh? At the same time when you got to invest, this the time is shown up to invest in the vision. Huh? Now, I'm not talking to those that don't have it. Quite clear. You don't have it, you can't. But there's some that listen to me on this afternoon. You got it. You got it laying in reserve. Reserve. And God said, break off a piece and give it to the house of God. Huh? So my mortgage can be no more. Huh? I'm not saying break it off and give it to man. But I want to get the glory. And I know without a doubt, together, we can do this. If we refresh, get happy. Give God praise. Refocus. Don't look at things like that. Huh? And realize you got this. Ah. Woo! Feel it, y'all. Glory to God. God want to do something special for you. One of my favorite scriptures are, and I hate to pick them out like that, but one of them is, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of man. Hey, the good stuff. God said, I want to make some more millionaires. Huh? Glory. I want to make some billionaires. Huh? But I heard the word say, we're not thankful. Hey, hey, hey. Willing to share over the little. Hallelujah. Then how can you expect God to do greater for you? I don't know about you, but I'm tired of working. Amen. I want to live on my inheritance. Huh. Amen. God have an inheritance for me. Huh. Y'all don't hear me? Huh. God going to make provision for me. Huh. God got some more ravens out there. Hey. Amen. They're going to take care of me. going to sustain me. going to feed me morning and night. Hey! God said, I want to bring up a bunch of people that are going to trust me the more. Huh? Like you used to trust me. Huh? When we didn't have it to give, we gave in a house. Somebody said, how can you give what you didn't have to give? Well, uh, when we would go forth and our tithes was $6, and we would go forth and give God $10. Huh? We gave him a whole lot more than what we we're supposed to. Our time was $12. We gave him the whole $20 bill. Well, today, now our ties is bouncing from $100 to $200 a pay period. Sometimes $500 a pay period. Glory to God. Amen. We want to peel God off 50 cents. Uh, Dollar and a quarter for offering. Can't you see where I'm going with that? How? We only made $60 a week. 
and your tithe was six dollars, but you gave God a I mean a four dollar offering. Hey, <laughs> you just about matched them dollar for dollar. Now, I only have one now that still give God dollar for dollar. Well, they pay tithes, they pay the same thing offering. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. We sang a praise. There's time to go back to the old landmark. Go back to the biblical style. Amen. Knowing that the more you give to God, the more God will give to you. But the man of God says, show. The man of God told us, amen, that God told me to tell you. Amen. You ain't going to run out of flour. Your job. Amen. In your job. You will not use. You will not oil. use all the oil. Hallelujah. Before you use them all. For before you use it all. The Lord will cause rain. Hey. Hey. Glory. The Lord will cause rain. To fall on the God earth. God said, I'm not going to let my word go down. God said, I'm not going to let you be ashamed. Amen. But obey me and do what I say. God got a blessing for you. But the only way you can do this here, you got to praise God. You ought to praise him in a house. Praise him in the morning. Praise him at noonday. Praise him uh, in the wee hours of the night. Sometimes uh, you ought to praise him at midnight. Uh, but give God the praise uh, because something good uh, very good uh, is about to happen to you. Uh, well, uh, God says, uh, I'm going to cause it to rain. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing. On the earth. Uh, on the earth. Uh, so the Bible says, uh, Then the widow uh, went away. Uh, then the widow, uh, she went away. And she uh, did what Elijah and had And she did asked what the man do. of God asked her to do. And uh, after that, and after that, there was food woo! every day. There was food every day. Good God. Did, hey, 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 hold it right there. God provided for every day. Did you hear what you said at the beginning of the chapter? Glory to God. I'm going to fix my last meal. This is going to be me and my son's last meal. And then from there, we're going to die. But the Bible said when she obeyed the man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. She had meals. There was food uh, every day. She had food every day. Hey. Elijah, Amen. And for the widow. Not only for her. And her Somebody family. said, uh, the man of God that went there one day. Uh, but that ain't what the scripture says. Uh, the scripture says, glory to God. There uh, was food every day. As many days uh, as the man of God stayed there with her. Uh, and her son. Now, they, they, they pigged out. Hey! <laughs> they pigged out every day. Uh, they had a man something to eat every day. Uh, listen to me real good. For the widow uh, and her family. God told me to tell you, uh, not only will I provide for you, uh, but I'll provide for your offspring. Uh, I'll provide glory to God for those to come. Uh, but what you got to do, uh, let's lend the requests uh, that the man of God is making on today. Uh, let's come together uh, and let's burn this mortgage. Uh, somebody said, uh, we got time, uh, but God told me to tell you, uh, let's do it now. Uh, let's go now uh, and do what we got to do uh, to get this thing to happen. Uh, I tell you, uh, God laid on my heart uh, to share with you on this afternoon. Uh, together, uh, we can do this. Uh, together. Uh, I'm not trying to put nobody out door. Uh, I'm not trying to put nobody in the soup line. Uh, but I'm trying to make you have more than enough. Uh, if you go with me on the day, uh, trust uh, that I'm a man of God. Uh, that God anointed this word. Uh, whatever you can. Uh, let God use you. Uh, let him use you uh, with your finances. Uh, you know you're more than able. Hey, uh, to do more than what's been done. Uh, I think about our slogan uh, for 2022. 
Now, it's about to begin. Now, God said, I want to give you more. Now, but if you got the, you got it closed up, uh, how can I give you more? Uh, I want to provide for you. Uh, I hate to be redundant, uh, but I heard uh, the Lord said to me, glory to God, uh, I want to make some millionaires. Uh, I want to make some billionaires, uh, but we got to refresh. Uh, Good God Almighty. Now, we got to be happy. Now, we got to get excited. Now, our memory got to be sharp. If God did it back then, now, he'll do it again. Now, God said, uh, before one jot uh, or one tip uh, of my word will pass, uh, then heaven and words will dissolve first. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but when I look up over my head, uh, the heaven is still hanging, uh, the stars are still up there, uh, the sun and the moon are still there. Uh, I look down uh, at my feet uh, and I'm not sinking, uh, that means the heaven uh, are still hanging uh, and the earth uh, is still firm. Just God Almighty, refresh. Refocus. You got this. Hallelujah. Somebody said, but I want an investor to tell me what to do with my money. Amen. I'm investing in God's plan. I'm investing in the will of God. Amen. It's time out for the water fountain talk. I'm talking around the break room. I'm talking in the restroom about who Bishop think he is. How could he buy this and buy that? Well, I'm going to tell you how. Co-pastor and I, we just obedient to God, the voice of God. We are doing what God has laid on our heart. But I don't want to go up by myself. I want you to come along with me. Glory to God. As a man of God said before you on this afternoon, God is still breathing my spirit. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. Glory to God. Amen. Satan know it. That's why Satan is raging so. But the Bible lets us know, glory to God. Amen. That God did what exactly what he said he's going to do. And God said, I want to do it again. The woman at Zophar, Zophas, 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 Glory to God. Zero pass, pass. Amen. She reaped the harvest. The Bible didn't say how long, but said many days. Huh? Until the rain came. You don't think God can sustain you in times like this? In the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of a recession, God won't take a few sanctified people and satisfy our mortgage. Do you really let like God use you? I'm getting ready to get out of here. But God is a good God. You got to give God praise. You got to praise Him and I. Amen. And the word of God went on and said, She did not use all the flour in the jar. Uh huh. And she did not use all the oil. Uh -huh. And that is what Elijah had promised. My Lord. He did it when the when he spoke the words of the Lord. All I'm speaking to you on this afternoon is the word of the Lord. Will you believe God? Can you believe God? Amen. That's the word God gave me on today. Refresh. Refocus. You got this. Do you believe we are, we, we, I mean, yours truly is a man of God? If so, will you go with me a little further? Huh? We, we have done it. We, we, we got crumbs to do. Is my calculation is right? We don't, we have paid over $300,000 on the mortgage since we said let's burn this mortgage glory to God because you remember we paid we had to pay interest down through that time 
You add the inches up, month by month, what we have done, we down to $45,055 in six days seven. Thank God for everyone they have done. But we can't stop here. Huh? We got to finish it. You remember the story in the Bible about David and Goliath? Even though David had used the slingshot, hit Goliath in the forehead, Goliath fell flat on the ground. Huh? Just because Goliath was laying on the ground, David said, oh no. I got to finish what I started. The Bible says that little David ran, jumped up on Saul, grabbed his sword, and deheaded, amputated his head from his body. Picked his head up with the sword and went walking down the streets of Jerusalem showing the victory. He had beheaded the enemy. Let's be here this morning. Huh? We got it laying out. Hello, somebody. Don't let the mortgage, don't let our mortgagee do CPR on it. It's going to finish it off. Together, we can do this. We must get excited. Amen? Be energized. And begin to praise God. Somebody said, well, what that got to do with anything? That's giving God the glory. Can I say something to you? You're going to want God to do something for you. Huh? And God only asks you to be a participant in helping us burn this mortgage. Amen? Whatever God has laid on your heart to do, will you do that? Will you be obedient to God? No amount is too small. You want to get a whole 45000 You can't. Huh? But together, we can get this thing behind us. Glory to God. We're not looking at no deadline. We're looking at now. Let's do this. So our blessing can begin to flow. So I said, good time, good time. We're going to have a good time. Huh? Good time going to begin. We get rid of this burden. Huh? The messenger from Satan, Lord to God, that has caused this market to linger for over 24 years. Together, we can get it out. Go back and read them scriptures. I ain't make it up. I didn't make it up. It's in the Word. But had not the widow woman made the ultimate sacrifice and obeyed the man of God first, her and her son, would have eaten our last meal. Huh? But God said, this is not your last. God said, that's not your last in the savings. Not the last in your checking account. I got more to give you. You only would trust me. Trust me with your substance. You trust me? I trust you. Huh? God won't do something for you. Well, my time is running now. I must get out of here. Somebody said, Well, preacher, what can I do to help? Hello, somebody. Financial sir. Amen. What can I do? You can go to our website. www.thebibleoutspur.org and follow the donate link. All you got to do, www.thebibleoutspur.org and just follow the donate link. Or you can text to give. All caps. G-I-V- Number two, TBWHOP. To the number, Erico 502 650 
9147. That's all caps. GIB number two. TBWHOP to the number 502 650 9147. That's the electronic way we can receive your funds. Amen. I'm not begging. I'm just talking and asking. Do you want to multiply your stuff? Huh? You do know. You do know. Because of where we're at, and everything, the economy is so unstable, the thing can bottom out. Huh? I'd rather invest in God. In God. Hello, him. In the works of the Lord. Huh? Refocus. Don't look at it like that. Huh? Don't look at it like that. What I release, more is coming back. I told you all some time back, and I live on that now. Today, co pastor and I are living off our of giving. And not our living. We're not living off no nine to five, no salary. We're living off what we done gave. Because God said at least going to be 34. Average 64. And only because I love you, I can give you a hundredfold return. Hey! My wife and I, we're witness to what God, hey! What God can do. Perhaps you want to write a check out. Write it to the Bible way house of prayer. The Bible way house of prayer. Amen. Don't worry about the street address. And mail it to our P.O. Box. P.O. Box 8310. Birmingham, Alabama. 35218. Amen. We'll go by that post office and get it. Amen. We'll make sure you get it in our account. You got cash money? Well, you can meet somebody at the church. You catch on the Sunday that we're going to be in service. Amen. We'll be more than glad to receive that offer. Amen. We don't have to spend loss all on that money. Don't think you can't give us no cash money because you got cold money. We'll, we'll lights all that baby down. Oh, Y'all ain't talking to me. Hey! We'll get it to the bank. Yes, sir. Amen. We thank God for you tuning in. Praising God for you. Let's don't forget next Sunday, the fifth Sunday. Amen. Asking everybody for $100. You got a job, you're working. Amen, amen. Don't forget to pay your fifth Sunday. Amen. I tell you, that money coming in, we still got a few that hadn't paid yet. That next Sunday, amen, will be the fifth Sunday. We'll be having an in-house service on the fifth Sunday. Glory to God. Pay your fifth Sunday money. We thank God for you. Appreciate you tuning in. God has been gracious to me, has been so good to me. Amen. Amen. God is good. We got so many messages from that. Refresh. Refocus. You got this. Remember we're in this pandemic? Amen. Wash your hands. Social distance. At least six feet. Huh? Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Well, man. N95, KEN95, as long as you got a face covering on. Glory to God. Put some on. I believe, I believe, I believe, and I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Maybe they promote the N95 and the KEN95 because it'll make too many. I believe all of them, as long as you got on the facial covering, it's sufficient. Hello, somebody. Cloth. Put it on. Cover up. Let the Lord bless you. Until we come back again, remember, stay safe, stay watchful, stay prayerful, be strong Ooh. in the Lord. And live. God bless you, Hannah. We praise God for you. Remember, it's the full Sunday. This 
this, this, this couple Sunday, co-pastor and I, we dressed alike as couples. Hey, do something with your mate. Amen? Let them know you love them. Glory to God. Now listen to me. She's a good catch. She said, he's a keeper. Hello, him. God is good. Do something. Today, celebrate your significant other. God bless you, him. Was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears really oh, Remember to praise him. Hey! Hey! 